Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for February 2021 for the sign of Aries. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message. <clears throat> I'm going to pull four overarching cards and then we'll go into the tarot cards. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Aries. What is the message from Spirit for February 2021 for Aries, please? Okay, let's just go with this one. We have Forgive and Forget. Remember, forgiveness is for the benefit of you, not necessarily for anybody else. It's how you don't carry toxic energy with you. Okay, message for Aries, okay, we have, oh, I like this one, we have ancestral wisdom. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked this earth many years before you. We ask you at this poignant time to learn and grow from our past experiences. You are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. Okay. message for Aries please for February 2021 thank you angel spirits guides message for Aries thank you oh my goodness you know it could be to do with this because my goodness there's definitely some kind of like being watched over energy here we've got ascended masters create open communication i mean this is with angel spirits guides people you've lost to the other side it feels like you're being deeply guided here very nice energy and message for aries please angels spirits guides for february 2021 thank you okay so I have Badger, bring your life into balance, Archangels Mary and Sandalphon. So about re-establishing balance. Okay, Aries, so I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the message from Spirit. Second card is what the message pertains to. And the third card is action or final advice. So what do we have, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Aries. February 2021, please. Message for Aries. Thank you. Thank you. So the Nine of Swords, Aries. Is the message from Spirit. We have the Six of Wands in what this pertains to. And... Final advice, we've got the sun. <laughs> okay. So there is a message here. You know, you're being deeply guided. And it's interesting that the, the sword is to do with the mind, the perception, how we see something, our thought patterns, our mental energy. You know, it's that kind of energy. And the nine of swords is when we feel the negative energy of the mind you know, and it causes stress, anxiety, sleepless nights, worry. And can you see that there? See that image in terms of how you're being communicated with your mind or healed or guided. You know, it's that kind of energy. It's almost kind of like you're being watched over to come through the other side of this. This is, there's a reason why you feel like this. It's based on fact. So Spirit is saying there is definitely this re a reason you have reason to feel this way. Sleepless nights, worry, anxiety, stress. But it doesn't help you to let your mind run riot in terms of focusing on negativity. Because what the mind does when it's not in that healthy state, it distorts the reality in terms of how you're looking at something. And can just make things worse. It's the, the spiral, you know, the downward spiral if you're not careful. Things will just feel worse and worse the more the mind focuses on the negative. So there's definitely this energy of bring your life into balance here. If this is a card of overthinking on something as well, 
something or someone being in your head or trying to get your head around a situation there is an energy here of, of forgive and forget it might well be an energy of just make peace with the situation find your peace with it you know if something is getting in your head there's definitely this energy of try and find peace with that but it's the power of the mind and to be aware of that now aries this is mars in gemini so mars is is your ruler so there's definitely this kind of energy of something that seems to be controlling your mind. You have power here to really overcome this. And that's what it feels as well. I mean, it's almost kind of like you're being given the power here to overcome how you're perceiving something. So definitely an energy of change, of, of be aware of how you're looking at something can really distort the reality of the situation, though it's acknowledged that it is based on fact. So it's the frame of mind energy, you know, and just be careful of the frame of mind that you're in here. Because what it pertains to, well, it feels in this situation, how you're perceiving something is it feels like it has some kind of control or power over you. And definitely in this situation with the six of wands, this is an energy of power. I mean, the Six of Wands is a card of victory is open to you here. It's just the frame of mind almost, it feels in this situation, the frame of mind is, is just getting too much in your head, making you feel negative about it. Whereas the Six of Wands is saying, put it behind you. You know, something that you need to put behind you now. And that's the victory. You taking your power back over this and taking action and putting it behind you. Um, now, this can also be a, a card of a significant achievement. It might well be you're stressed about, will I come through the other side of this? Uh, will there be success and, and victory open to me? Do I have the power to overcome, you know, something that is stressing and causing me anxiety and worry? Yes, because that's what all these card, all that, all those descriptions mean. This is a card of putting a challenge behind you. This is a card of victory. This is a card of significant achievement and success, and can also be a card of recognition as well. So some achievement with some recognition. So I definitely feel for some of you, uh, if you're questioning your own power to deal with a situation, the message is know your power here. Know your power, which is why Mars is appearing in this card. It's a card of somebody who is not acknowledging or focusing their own power here. Because the advice here is step into your power. The sun. What has been stressing you out? There will be a victory. There will be some success here because this is a card of letting go, releasing, restoration, stepping into your light, celebration, joy, happiness, good times ahead, positivity, warmth, new growth, vitality, very good news. It's a great card of success. So I have two cards of success here. And it almost kind of feels in this situation, you don't see how you have in your own power can achieve some kind of sign significant success, victory, or overcome something that has challenged you. And both of these cards are overcoming energies. The sun is a card of, of, of growth. It's a card of stepping into your power. It's an awakening energy, awakening from, uh, awakening from challenges that you've experienced and awakening in your new, newfound power by the experiences you've gained. You know, it's this kind of energy here, Aries. It, it absolutely is the most positive card of the tarot deck, the sun. It's divine light shining on you lighting the path before you. If you think that this is a journey that you're making on your own, you're not. So there's a message of, will the sun come out while well, it's dark and it feels negative? Yes, the sun will come out. And it definitely feels in this energy, balance will be restored. You'll be watched over, definitely with both of these energies. 
but don't hold on to things that don't serve you anymore that stop you moving forward get in your head as well so just be aware of that so i'm going to pull a final card final message for aries thank you So we have give yourself time, be kind to yourself and heal in your own way. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the reading Aries. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.